Hey everyone, this is Angie Lee with another Tuesday and today we are going to be talking about none other than the largest gathering of women in technology, Grace Hopper. The first tip I have for you is to bring resumes. Of course, you should be aware that there is a very large job fair with the top tech companies who are there to support and show their support for women. Be ready, be prepared to meet anyone at any minute, whether it's down the hall. Um, I was able to sit, I was just enjoying a five minutes rest and I was sitting next to an Apple representative and recruiter. So you could be anywhere. Make sure you have enough resumes at all time. If it is the case that you need to reprint, make sure to bring a USB. So that USB should have your resume as a PDF and also as an editable, editable file. Whether you're using Photoshop, Word, um, Pages, whatever your choice of format, you need to have that ready and for you to go and edit that file and also make sure it's an offline version so if you have it in Google Docs make sure that you can access that as a word file when you download it down or you can export it as an editable PDF because you never know how spotty the Wi-Fi is going to be and if you need to make last-minute changes from person to person you have it offline and quickly accessible to you this is incredibly important maybe you even need to have two USBs if you really want to get crazy. So get the resume um, as a whole file there and one that you can edit so you can have that ready to go. Make sure you have your laptop. There's a, a lot of interactive opportunities. There's hackathons. There's things. It's It should be pretty clear you need to have your laptop. Don't bring something just because you think you're traveling, you're going to be walking around a lot, and bring an iPad. It's not going to fly here. You need your development and heavy duty with all the programs kind of laptop. Speaking of the job fair, you want to make sure that you have your elevator pitch ready. You hear this all the time. What does that mean? It means you're not going to be talking out of your ass. It means you're not going to be yabbering on like I tend to do forever. Uh, you want to be able to have a succinct description that highlights your skill set in three minutes and make sure that you're able to talk about all of the different things, how you can adapt, your your experiences and your different team working abilities, your collaborative, um, and some concrete skills like the languages you choose um, to use, the, the type of work that you're looking for. Uh, there are a lot of videos on this topic, but do make sure that you have this prepared because that can happen at any time. In the hallways, it can happen, uh, of course, in the job fair section, and it can happen anywhere in this conference, all right? Even if you're Grabbing food outside, many times people want to skip the long lines for the Grace Hopper um, food options. So if you're in anywhere in walking distance, it can happen, it can happen. Be prepared. All right, next, make sure that on top of all the professional clothes you're already planning on bringing, keep in mind that there are chances that you want to relax and be comfortable and not have to whine about the splinters and not splinters but the blisters that you're going to get on your feet um, from trying to walk around in heels or even flats flats can be terrible this has been literally my achilles heel in conferences and i'm struggling uh, whether you get those numbing heel sprays or you bring uh, what are those? Those moleskin strips? Those don't, they, they really don't work. Um, what you need is a pair of tennis shoes and a pair, a clean pair of socks. I mean, I shouldn't have said clean. It's obvious that they're going to be clean, but you just need a going out outfit. One that's casual, jeans, shorts. I mean, it's Florida, so you'll want shorts, a t-shirt, tank top, and who knows? If you meet a few friends, you can go out for a walk, get some fresh air outside of that freezing conference space, and be able to um, absorb all of the great activities that you're, you're a part of this year. So keep in mind, and if at all, maybe you need to go for a walk on your own, have a deep breath because it's such an exciting time and you don't want to have your mind spinning um, at the end of the day. 
One tip that I have for you that applies to just any conference is to stop by your local drugstore, corner store, and get band-aids for possible blisters on your feet because you're doing a lot of walking. And you also want to get water. You can get a six-pack of water just to make sure you stay hydrated um, throughout the evenings or uh, when you first wake up. And you'll want to grab a pack of granola bars. I mean, what would it cost, right? The drugstore might jack the price up a couple bucks, but it saves you a lot of time. It gives you peace of mind. There are lines for food um, at these events, okay? So just grab one on your way out. Maybe you're running late, and then you don't have to worry about this meeting, this interview that you have, and you have it all set. And if you don't finish them, you can just pack them back in your bag and go about your day and be on your merry way. That rhymed. I've made a few other videos on Grace Hopper, and one of their famous features is the awesome swag that you get. People are handing out selfie sticks, you can win GoPros, you can win Surface tablets. Hello? <laughs> Where are you gonna put all of these? I mean, if it is a Surface, you're gonna take care of that and you're gonna make room. But all these little things can add up, weigh your bag down. If you're thinking of um, making space for these things come with a empty bag whether it's your personal item whether you are checking a bag and it's going to have half the space for things that you want to bring back it's really worth it there's a lot of high quality items that you can um, have that add value to your overall trip I know that it's just fun and it's silly to talk about these things but it you don't want to be in a situation where you're going to have to ship a box of little trinkets for twenty, thirty dollars um, when all the swag was handed out and, and you know that you could have prepared for this in advance. And the last tip I have for you is to know what you want out of the conference. It's easy. You're going to a conference. Do you want to network and meet people? Do you want to find job interviews and make connections with recruiters. Uh, remember that recruiters are on your side. If something opens up and maybe you're not a good fit for the position now, find them on LinkedIn. Say, I'd like to stay connected with you. Where can we be in touch? Be friends with your recruiters. And what else? Take the hour that it would take to look through all of the courses, maybe even 30 minutes to have an idea of what tracks you want, when you're going to take breaks, if at all, and maybe there are classes or workshops that you really want to attend. You can have a backup one if there's a, a space limit, and also know when you're going to go to your interviews, because then you can plan your outfits accordingly. All right, so those are my tips very basic. A lot of these can be applied to any conference at all, any women in tech conference or just tech conference in general. I am so excited for you. I wish I was in your place, but if you are having any hesitation or concerns, I'm always available in the comments. I'm so excited. I said that already. Just let me know if you have any questions, specific questions about Grace Hopper. It's been a couple years since I've gone, but I've gone twice and I loved it both times. Um, my first time was super high in the networking, um, job searching aspect, and the second one uh, was more focused on learning about a specific craft. So I was going to more technical courses. All right, so. I will leave it at that. Happy Tech Tuesday again, and I need to get going to an event. Um, I love you guys, and I will see you next week. Bye!